man was about 68 and he came to me and he'd had a very good career in the Foreign Office uh, with Reuters, BBC as an investigative journalist and we were working on something and it occurred to me he'd been in Afghanistan for 25 years and so we worked on it for what was left of his session which was about 40 minutes and he came back the following session and said you know I feel entirely different I feel as though a weight has been taken from me that I didn't even know I was carrying. So he said, you've got to do something about all those poor girls and boys coming back from war zones. Let me introduce you to the head of combat stress. But that's a different story. The good news is that most of us don't have anything quite as severe as PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. The good news is also that we can do something about it. The not so good news is that you've got to know what you've got in your unconscious mind before you can deal with it. So however successful we are, there's always going to be some areas of our lives that we're not so happy with and that we shove under the carpet. And there it sits, trying to grab, grab our attention, trying to make itself known. And of course we don't want to know, we just hope it's going to go away. But in fact, what happens in the mind has a profound effect on the body. And what happens in the body also has a profound effect on the mind. And when the mind can't take something, when it's too much for it, what it will do is store in the body whatever it is, so it can sort it out later. And then, of course, because it's feeling a little bit better about things, it doesn't ever go there. So what starts off as unease develops into disease. If you want to change the circumstances of your life, you've got to change what you think and how you feel first. The brain is your hardware, and it holds all sorts of programs, which are your software. You probably don't even know what you've got in your unconscious mind, so you can't identify it. And it comes as a great shock. So when you get knee-jerk reactions to things, you think, how did that happen? What am I doing? That's your unconscious mind making itself felt. So I'm going to tell you a story of another of my clients. She was a beautiful woman and she'd had psoriasis on her scalp, not just dandruff, psoriasis on her scalp for 25 years. And she came in for one appointment and she said, I'm your poster girl now. So I said, really? How come? And she said, because that psoriasis I had vanished overnight, which is pretty amazing that the body can do such things. Therapy. Rapid eye movement therapy is very good. It's slower. Mm. It's slower than what I do. Do you, do you not incorporate it in what you do? No. I, if, if you've got the fast track, why go slow? Mm. What makes it faster then? Because it goes instantly.